What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. Today we're doing a life Q&A um, with another married couple, our friends Brianna and Andrew and their son Boaz. Mm -hmm. And today we're just going to be asking each other questions about like what marriage is like um, in their perspective compared to ours because we're newlyweds and they've been married for over two years. Yeah, so this is called our life Q&A um, video. So would you guys want to say a little bit about yourselves, like how old you are, how long you've been married? Um, so I'm Brianna, I'm 20 years old, um, we've been married for two years, just over two years, um, got married when we were 18 and 19, and I guess you could start. Like, yeah, I'm Andrew, I'm 21 years old, um, just finishing school at college, and obviously we have our little one right here, it's going to be mm -hmm. two months here shortly. Mm -hmm. Jack and I'm I so just cute. got married um, two months ago? Yeah, August 21st, so it's been coming up on two months pretty soon here. Mm -hmm. The first question we have so far um, to get started is what is it like being married young? We're gonna go through, uh, we'll start with that one first. We're dating at 17 and 18 and then got married 18 and 19. Um, it's just a blast. I think I knew, I always wanted to get married young, but that was just my idea. And then obviously just praying about it and then Andrew got brought into my life and then we just knew that it was meant to be we wanted to start our lives like, we knew God wanted us to get married and start our lives young and go through life versus like doing that simple like, oh, I gotta get college and all that, like mm -hmm. gotta do all these things and then get married. Like we knew we wanted to go through that yeah. together. Um, Most people do do that. So. Yeah, which is totally fine. Yeah. That's what God's calling you to do. But we just both knew that like, this was when we needed to get married or all that. Yeah, I mean, growing up, that honestly like was my plan. I was like, I'm gonna go to college. I'm gonna be focused, and I won't I won't worry about you know finding a wife and you know <laughs> growing a family until after college. I'll just worry about that later. And from the moment I met Brianna, like God showed me, He's like, this is your wife, and I just I knew that God's plan was not to wait you know eight years until I was done with college. You know, he brought us together at a specific point in time for a specific purpose, and his, his plan is just so perfect, so it's just really cool to see how that worked out. That is awesome. Amen. Yeah. Um, like Andrew said, um, it, it's such a blessing. It, it happened very quickly for me. Um, I had no idea that I'd be married at the age of 23. Um, I thought I would just, you know, enjoy it and live out my 20s and uh, do whatever young people do, and then, but... God had a different plan in mind for me, and it is such a blessing being married. Just having my wife and being living life with her is so much greater and better than having to do it on my own and just ex and explore and live life however I pleased, but rather surrendering my my will to God and having Him direct me and just bring me to Isabel. That's been the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. So being married young is, is awesome, but it's a little bit frightening too, because you're like, wow, like this is already happening to me. And I remember growing up and just looking at my parents being married, and that's just such a prestigious thing mm -hmm. to achieve. And I didn't see myself as ever getting there until, you know, you would think to yourself, oh, I'll get married when I'm in my 30s or later. But like your heart devises many plans and has many desires, but, but God's will will ultimately be done. Being married young is a blessing, mm -hmm. and I love it. So It's that's... really nice, because we get to go through the journey together, and that's what I, I never expected I would get married at this age too, and even like, it hasn't even been a year for us to know each other, even though we've known each other since elementary school, but we've mm -hmm. never talked. So one year, dated, engaged, and married. Yeah. In just full nine months. That was basically like us, right? Yeah. 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 yeah it was really fast. Yeah. Very fast. You, you know when you know. Like yeah. Yeah. But yeah. No, God God will show you when you're with your person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah asked this question, when do we think we would have kids? And it was like asking Jack and I. And I'm like, um, we've talked about it. We definitely do want kids. Um, we're not in any rush to have kids right now. I would maybe want to try after a year. I know we talked about that. Yeah, so, <laughs> but, <laughs> so when would um, I have kids? Like, honestly, I can't answer that because I didn't know when I was going to get married. <laughs> um, it's all part of God's plan. So just being in prayer about it is the best thing you can do um, when you're uncertain about anything. And it's his time. So whenever he wants us to have children, I'm all for it. You're never ready or prepared to have children. I'm aware that I'll probably never ever be ready for it, but 
God's just going to throw that in my hands and have to take care and tend to what he gives me. And I can't forsake it or leave it. I have to embrace God's plan. Did you guys plan or? No. Um, <laughs> we had like a timeline. Yeah. I mean, our plan and God's plan were very different. Our plan well, was to plan. wait. Well, our plan. Because we both. Well, yeah, we agreed. But like, yeah. I wanted kids like. Right. Yeah. yeah, Brianna wanted kids <laughs> from the moment we got married and stepped into married life. It's totally um, different. Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I wanted to wait until after dental school, so we made a compromise and said, "Hey, like within the first two years of dental school, we'll start trying yeah. and see what God gives us." And God's plan was to have our beautiful little man right here, <laughs> exactly when he was born. All right, our next question: What is the biggest struggle getting married? It, it's setting boundaries just with like family would be mine because um, my parents were divorced his parents were divorced mm -hmm. so that's four sets already and then his mom was married again to your stepdad that was part of your whole life and then they got recently divorced and that's a fifth person we have to like rotate and see and they all love us so much which is great but they yeah. don't understand that we're married we still want to spend time together mm -hmm. and figure it just be present with each other versus like every weekend rotating through those people so I would say just setting boundaries with family even though we love them we want to see them it that was I would say the biggest struggle for us and we're still like learning but oh yeah and I wholeheartedly agree like it's I'd say a very difficult part was you know taking two different lives and yeah. combining them into one life mm -hmm. you know one yeah. one person before God and it was difficult to kind of tackle that but, you know, getting through it with you is the best part. Another thing that was pretty difficult is getting married at 18 and 19, you know. We didn't really have any friends that were in that same path as us. We kind of felt alone for a while. And we had each other and we had, you know, a good support group through the church. But we didn't really feel like we had anyone, you know, going down the same path as us in the moment. So yeah. that, was, that was a little bit of a struggle. Our following and last question, how do we keep God first in our marriage? I would say keeping always prayer. Prayer is really big. To always pray to with each other. Devotional really helps. Or even just reading from the Bible. I'd like to add is find your home church. Mm -hmm. Find where you guys can consistently go and be in congregation with other believers and fellowship and studying the word and praying with other people. Amen. Amen. <laughs> the best advice that I can give on you know staying close together and con constantly growing towards God is attempting to, obviously you're never going to get it perfect, but attempting to live the way Jesus lived on this earth. Mm -hmm. And the best advice that I can give on that is to serve how he served and he, he gave everything. Say like you said, you have to make sure your relationship with God is good too because you can't lean on your partner in that. And obviously, yes, lean on your partner through like the hard times and stuff, but something, you're, Andrew's not going to make me happy every single day. He's going to fail me because he's human and he's a sinner, just like I am, so I'm not going to be the same. So I can't find happiness in Andrew. I have to find it in Jesus. And so that's something I always like point to. So it's always like you and Jesus and then him and Jesus, and then you guys will point together towards the cross. Mm -hmm. Jesus is never going to fail you, so anytime, like, any worries, anxious thoughts, or any struggles that we go through, just go to the cross, and then together we'll cling to each other, so. That's the best way to do it.